Happy birthday. Today's 4-9, Practice and Problem Solving on Envision 2.0. My name is Jason Jacobs, and here we go with 4-9 on Envision. Hey, this is over um, equations. We're going to be given two situations, such as these number of candles C to the number of boxes B. One will be an independent variable that will um, affect change on the dependent variable through some sort of pattern that you are going to discover. So let's get started. The table shows how many candles are in different numbers of boxes. Find a pattern that explains the relationship between the values of C and B. Use words and numbers to describe the pattern. How many candles will there be in 10 boxes? Solve this problem any way you choose. 10 boxes. Okay, let's check it out. So the number of candles C is 8, and then the number of boxes B is 2. The number of candles here is 12, and the number of boxes is 3. The number of candles is 16, and the number of boxes is 4. So what do we see? What kind of pattern do we see here? Well, I sort of see maybe um, the number of candles divided by what gives you the number of boxes. All right. So I'm pointing to, let me make sure you can see where I'm pointing to. I'm pointing to here. Eight divided by what is two. And 12 divided by what is three. What do you guys think? Okay, you write it down. Okay, here's here's what I got. So eight divided by four equals two, and 12 divided by four equals three, and 16 divided by four equals four. So that means there's four candles in a box. So we have a pattern here that you can see, we're gonna write an equation that, see this C and B? C divided by 4 equals B. Now you could also do C divided by B equals 4. And you could also go 4 times B equals C. And B times 4 equals C. So remember these fact families that you've been learning since first grade. And uh, we apply it right here to this algebra, these algebra equations, okay? So... How many candles will there be in 10 boxes? So 10 boxes, we would substitute 10 into here. So now you have C divided by 4 equals 10. So what do you think um, it is? Well, the inverse operation of dividing by 4 is multiplying by 4. So multiply by 4. And we get C equals 40. These cancel out to 1. C equals 40. All right, I kind of wrote all over our lovely birthday candles and i wonder if it's anyone's birthday today anyone's birthday today well, let's get moving on with our equations where's the oh yeah it's up here here we go guys how can you find a pattern to write and solve an equation Think about this question during the lesson. The table shows the cost of weekend tickets to the slide and splash water park. Find a pattern between the number of tickets, N, and the cost, C, of the tickets. Write a rule and an equation that represents the pattern. How much would six tickets cost? What pattern will you look for to find the cost of six tickets? What are the dependent and independent variables? Why? Look for the relationship between the number of tickets and the cost of the tickets. The independent variable is N and the dependent variable is C. The cost depends on the number of tickets. To make sense of the problem, find the price of one ticket. Find the price of one ticket, P, when three tickets cost $16.50. What property of equality was used to solve the equation? Select your answer. 
the division property of equality. One ticket costs five dollars and fifty cents. Check the cost for four and five tickets. Why is it important to check the costs for four and five tickets? Well, we got to check the cost because it could just be a coincidence. There, it is important so. to check the costs for four and five tickets because you must make sure the rule works for, for all, all the related them. numbers in the table. Yeah, it's got to work for all of them. State the rule. The total cost, C, is $5.50 times the number of tickets, N. Write an equation. So you'll be expected to write these equations here. Find the cost of six tickets. Now substitute six in for N. So one ticket, see how you um, substitute the one in? Two, you substitute the two. For six tickets, you substitute the six in, 5.5 .5 times six. So you just substitute the number in for N and you've got it. The cost of six tickets is $33. How was the equation used to find the cost of six tickets? Substitute six for N and then multiply five and five tenths times six. Write the answer in dollars. Now you know how to find a pattern. All right, let's try this one. The table shows the number of yards, Y, that a professional bicyclist rides in S seconds. Find a pattern that relates the variables. If the cyclist maintains this speed, how far would the cyclist ride in eight seconds? All right, uh, pause this video and give this one a try and write it in your book under the try it. So here, what I did was I tried to find a relationship here by going 24.4, 24.4 divided by two, and I got 12.2. I'm gonna try it here. 36.6 divided by 3. I got 12.2 again. That's a good sign. 61 divided by 5 equals 12.2. Okay, so we, we, we are on to something. So what we have here is for 8 seconds we got to do. So S times 12.2 equals Y. So now we substitute for S for eight seconds. Now we substitute eight in. Eight times 12.2 will equal Y. So 12.2 times eight is 97.6. So uh, 97.6 yards, you would go. And how do you know that the equation you wrote describes the pattern on the table? Well, we checked each one just to make sure it uh, it still follows that this this same pattern here. All right, example two. Ethan. Ethan owes his mother seventy five dollars. He repays his mother a set amount each week. How much will Ethan owe his mother after twelve weeks? So see how. It goes after week one, 75 minus five is 70 f or times zero week. And it goes on, pay all the reminders. So the pattern keeps going on where you take the week and you plug it in here, just like that. You take the three, so that's 15, 75 minus 15 there. To find the pattern, start with the amount owed the amount owed decreases by $5 each week. So 70, the, the rule is A equals 70, the amount owed equals 75 minus five times the week. So after 12 weeks, A equals 75 minus five times 12, which is 60. So Ethan will owe $15 after 12 weeks. What a responsible young man. And now let's try this one. 
If Ethan continues to pay $5 per week, how many more weeks will he need to pay his mother? Explain. So, so what did he have? Um, what were we at? We were at 12, 12 weeks. He had 60. So it's three more weeks to go, right? How many more weeks will he need to pay his mother? So he has $15 left. So how many more weeks? Three more weeks. Hey guys, um, go ahead and do the book work for this now.